Hey guys, my name is David DiMuzio, and I'm going to teach you how to play the song Now and Forever by Richard Marks. I did a cover of this song, and I actually, I played it 95% correct in my cover, but I went back and checked the actual record afterwards, and there are a couple parts that I didn't do exactly like the record, but I'm going to teach you to play it exactly like Richard Marks plays it. It's going to start off on a G chord, and it'll go like this. So what those notes are, are a G chord, um, that's 3rd fret, uh, E string, low E string, then the open G string, and then the, uh, the high G string. So actually that's three G's in a row. Just like that. And then it's going to go to this chord, which is a favorite chord of Richard Marks. Um, and that's a C chord with a G in the bass. So that's um, a regular C chord except instead you're gonna play that C note right here, third fret on the A string with your pinky, and then you're gonna play third fret on the E string right here with your, uh, with your ring finger. So you're actually gonna be playing these notes. And usually when Richard Marks plays a C chord, he plays it like that, which is a C chord with a, uh, with a G in the bass. So it'll go like this. So that's um, the next part, which is you hammer on with your the notes that you're holding down, which is the uh, second fret D string and first fret on the B string. You're going to hammer on to those. So it goes like this. All right, and then you're going to slide that up one two frets, exact chord, and it'll go like this. And then you're going to slide it back down two frets. One, two. All right, so if you put that together, it sounds like this. All right, which is exactly what the intro is, and the turns as well. Okay, so one more time. So that's G, which is the G, the third fret on the uh, E string, then open G, then high G, which is third fret on the high E string, and then comes to this chord right here, and you hammer on with your middle finger and um, index finger. All right, so really the notes that you're playing there, the only notes you're playing are that low G with your thumb. And then the, um, you're playing the D, G, and B strings. And you're hammering on to the uh, D and B strings and playing that G open. Then slides up, one, two frets. And then you play it again, same notes, and then slides down. So what I'm playing there with my right hand is you're playing the, uh, the low E with your thumb each time. And then you're playing the uh, G, sorry, D, G, and B strings with your, um, these three fingers right here. So. And then it goes like this. All right, so after you do this lick, You're then going to play, um, you have your pinky, your pinky should already be rested at the 3rd fret on the, um, on the A string because of the chord that I taught you. And then you're going to play, so you play that with your thumb, and then you play an open G string, and then you bring your pinky over and you play 3rd fret on the high E string. So it goes, then you play open G again. And then you play, your finger should be rested already at the first fret on the B string. All right, then back to the G string, and then you hammer, um, do a pull off on the, um, the B string first fret where your finger is already rested. All right, so try all the way through. All right, one more time. Then you go through the lick again. Then you play it that same lick again. All right. And again, that do 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 do. That is third fret, um, A string, open G, 
uh, third fret high E string, open G, then B string first fret, like that. Actually, I think I might have told you wrong a little bit earlier. Um, so yeah, the whole lick is open A string. I'm sorry, A string third fret, open G string, high E string, back to the the open G string, first fret on the B string, pull off. All right. Right, so that's that whole lick. And then sometimes the way that he does it is he goes like this, and he doesn't do the pull off. He just goes. And then goes into that. I think um, the second time through, it just does that without the pull off. Which is the same thing to the open G string. And then instead of doing the pull off on the B string first fret, you just play it and you, then you play back, you play the um, open G string. So. And then goes into the, uh, the verse. The verse is um, the same lick that you started with on that G, where you play the G, G, G. Um, you just start off with that, so you go. So that's, um, G, uh, third fret. Uh, you should know how to play a G. So it's just a regular G G chord, basically. Except you'll keep also um, you'll keep both the E and the B strings both held down at the third fret. So you go like this, and then you play next chord. That's the first chord is a G. Second chord is a D with an F sharp in the bass. So you just play this a D regular D chord, but instead you're going to bring your thumb around and you're going to hold down that. Um, You can play it with your thumb like this. Um, that's how I do it. Play it with your thumb at the second fret on the low E string, and then you just play these D strings down here. Or you can also instead you can play it this way and play uh, play the F sharp, which is second fret at the um, at the E string. You can play it right here. So you can do it either of those ways. Um, so it's going to go. When he plays these notes, he plays the um, low E string and then the D, G, and B strings for the second chord. And then goes to an E minor 7th chord. See, so that's just right here. You should know E minor 7th. Um, actually, the way that he plays this is... So it goes low E and then uh, second, f second fret at the D string, open G, and then open uh, E string at the bottom, and then plays back the second fret at the D string, open G, and then sec third fret at the B string. I'm oh, sorry. So it goes. Then goes to an A minor seventh chord. For the A minor seventh, you're just going to um, play the middle four strings. So starting at the A, A, D, G, B. That's all it does on the A minor seventh. And then you move over and you put your finger. This is uh, basically a G with a. I get, I'm not sure what you call this. Maybe there's a lot of different names you could have. But it's sort of a G with a. Uh, with a B in the bass, G chord with a B in the bass. Um, and this is going to be, yeah, put your index finger at the second fret on the A string, then play the open D and G strings, and then third fret on the B string. All right, one more chord coming, and then uh, that's all the chords for the main verse. All right, so last chord that you're going to play is you're going to go back to that same chord that we played earlier, the second chord, which is the D with an F sharp in the bass. So that's uh, just right here, F sharp, played with your thumb, 
And um, it's best to play with your thumb, I think, because then you can do the hammer on that he does. So play with your thumb, third, second fret at the um, low E string. And then uh, you're playing the open D string, second fret at the G string, and third fret at the B string. Okay, so going all the way through the whole progression is like this. G, D with an F sharp in the bass, E minor 7th. A minor 7th. G with a B in the bass. F, D with an F sharp in the bass. Cool, just sort of randomly playing like that. I think he usually plays these. So one more time, G, D with the F sharp in the bass, E minor 7th, A minor 7th, G with the B in the bass, D with the F sharp in the bass. For that last chord, the, G, the D with the F sharp in the bass, the last time you play it, probably the best way to play that is play first that uh, the bass note. that's the way he does it. So that's first the bass note, then you play the um, second fret on the G string, third fret on the B string, back to the second fret on the G string, then you play the open E string, then back to the second fret on the G string, then back to the B string, uh, B third fret on the B string, then back to the second fret on the G string. So it sounds like this. Alright, so that's the whole verse, and when it played together with the singing, it'll go like this. Whenever I'm weary from these battles that reach in my head does it one more time again that G U D sense of E minor seven when A minor seven G with the B in the bass D with the F sharp in the bass and then goes to the chorus that was up. so the chorus is going to um, be a C just a regular C major chord um, I'll call this part the chorus because it's the part that repeats after the verse. Five, four, three, two, four, three, two. Yeah, that's the that's the pattern. Five, four, three, two, four, three, two. Then that's what you play on C major. Then you're going to go to a B dominant seventh chord, and that is a B right here, and then um, that's yeah, B, which is A, A second fret. Then you're going to play uh, fourth fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string, and then you would play um, you would play a high E string, second fret on the E string, but I don't think you actually play that note. So um, yeah, so you're just going to play like this again. That's B dominant seven, and you play the same pattern that you just played on. C, which is five, four, three, two, four, three, two. So, so going from the C to the B. Yep. Then goes to an E minor chord. So it's the C to a B minor to a B dominant seventh to E minor. E minor 7th, I'm sorry, E minor, regular E minor, and then I play a D this way for when I play um, the D at this point in the song, because it's easier to get into the next chord, and I think this is the way that Richard Marx plays it. So it's, you play the E minor, you can play it however you want, whatever notes you want, and then you go to what is the pattern for a C chord, but you play it up two frets, so it become, becomes a D chord. And so that's going to be... Um, the ring finger at the 5th fret on the A string, uh, middle finger at the 4th fret on the D string, 
open G string and third fret on the B string. So that's C, B dominant seventh, E minor, D, and then goes to this weird chord, which is really cool. Um, after the D, it goes to, you can, I play it this way with my pinky and my middle finger, but you can do however you want to. That's 4th fret on the A string, and then 2nd fret on the D string, and then open G and B strings. So that's the one that says right before it says now and forever. It goes to an A minor 7. And playing that, that little um, lick is just A minor 7th chord. It's open A string, 2nd fret D string, open G string. You play the B first at the 1st fret, back to the G string, open. Then you do the pull off at the B string and then play an open G. So and then play is a, a regular D chord. Uh, actually, this first is a D sus2. Um, so that's just a D chord, and then you hold down your pinky at the third fret on the high E string. So it's... So then you pull it off. So you'll see how the time. Now and forever, I will be your man. So be your. So that's why it pulls off. It actually goes with the melody. So on B, you play the um, the D sus, holding it down at the third fret on the high E string, and then B your. When it goes to your, you pull off to the. Um, pull off to the uh, second fret on the E string. And then it goes back to that same leg. Alright, so that is how to play the verse and the chorus and the opening lick which also then becomes the turn at the end of the chorus. Now I'm going to teach you the bridge and then teach you the, the outro which is just slightly different but very similar. So at the uh, end of the second chorus um, it goes and then this is where it goes into the bridge from that da 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 um, on that C, it just plays just a couple notes and then goes to that B dominant seventh that I taught you earlier. If you don't know how to play a B dominant seventh and you didn't understand quite well enough, just go look up the chord B dominant seventh and you'll find how to play it. So it goes. That's just a little transition chord to get you into the bridge. So that from the B dominant seventh, that's. Now I can, and then goes to a C. Rest my, sorry, E minor. Rest my, then goes to C. Worries, and then goes to G. And always be, and then goes to a D with that F sharp in the bass, so that the G walks down to the E minor that you're about to start on. Always be sure. That's the D with the F sharp in the bass. Back to the E minor. That I C. B, a, G, N, E, D, with the F sharp in the bass, more, E minor, if I had C, on, U, G, U, were there, D with the F sharp all the, and then all the time, where it goes all the time, you're going to go to an A minor 7th. Oh, but you hammer on to the um, B string at the 1st fret, so it's open A, D string, 2nd fret, 
hammer on to the B string at the first fret, and then open, I'm uh, sorry, high E string at the third fret. So. All this. And then when it goes to that and does a little high part, then you're going to go to a really weird chord on that. That is a, uh, here's the chord, I don't know what the name of it is. It's a C, um, which is a third fret at the A string, and then fifth fret at the uh, D string, then fourth fret at the G string, fourth fret at the B string, and then third fret, which you're barring, is at the um, E string. So it goes like this. That's the chord. Really pretty chord. So, all this time. When it does that, that's on that weird chord. And when it goes to that note, that's when you go back into the, for the instrumental, into the uh, verse chords. And then this is just the, the verse chords. You play through one time. And then it goes back to the chorus chords. And then, then this is the ending, this is the part that changes. You can go down here to a C with an E and a bass. So that's just uh, seventh fret at the second, seventh fret in the A string, and then just the third, sorry, fourth, third, and second strings at the fifth fret. So these are the notes. Um, it goes to there, so it goes. So it goes now and for now and for and then it goes to that A minor seventh ever I will be your man. Uh, yeah, it, um, when it does that, so it does the uh, C with the E in the bass. Forever. The A minor seventh, seventh. Back to the D, but the D it holds on twice as long this time. Again. And when it goes your man, then it goes back to that weird chord that um, I taught you before that the um, bridge ends on. That all this time. That chord right there, which is um, this one. And then back to a regular C chord. And then... So the last um, time that you play through that, dun, dun, the lick is a little bit different. It doesn't do the hammer on, it just goes like this. Just slides up, slides down, and then ends on the G. So, so you can hear how kind of how that sounds at the end. Second to last time. Uh, now and forever, I will be your man. Now and forever. That was when I went to the, to the C with the E in the bass for just a minute. Back to the A minor seventh. Holds on the D twice in as long. That weird, your weird chord, your me to a regular C. All right, so that should get you close enough on Now and Forever by Richard Marks.